as you all know, I hate all the big chain stores, all the big supermarkets, and I think they should all close down and um, they should be reopened as units for small businesses to to, um, to to trade from. Because I think small businesses can offer a better service, better prices, and actually do a better job all the way around. I hope you agree with me. Um, Mark Spencer, I, I often say to people that one, one of the things that they should be doing is concentrate on their brands. To me, a small business is its brand. Now, branding is an unusual thing because you can say, well, a brand can be a product. So you can, you can have a product, a Mars Bar's a brand, or you can have a shop, Marks and Spencer's is a brand. And, and what's great is, is if you control a brand, if you control um, the supply of something and you can differentiate between what's readily available on the shelves anywhere else and your own, then you can control prices to a point. I mean, if, you, if you've got a brand, look, I'm not even talking about the main big big ones like Chanel and whatever, I'm just talking about everyday brands. You can often get a premium because you spend all this time and energy building up trust and respect in the community. And therefore, when people see your brand or something else, they want your brand. And I think it's very important that small businesses get that. Now, what Marks and Spencers are doing is they're going the other way. They're saying, for years and years and years, we've pretty much only sold our own brands. Everything in Marks and Spencers is St. Michael's, or they've got the Marks and Spencers food brands, and I think that's you know I, th I think that's that's good. But all of a sudden now they're deciding to uh, go away and start selling other people's brands. So is that because they're looking to expand the stores and become just another supermarket? Or is it because they know that their brands are failing? Maybe their brand items aren't what we always thought, because we always thought as Marks and Spencers as a um, high quality, great service, and you know they've gone a bit pricey over the years, but you pay a bit more for quality. But if they're going to bring in other people's brands, is that not diluting their brands? You know, maybe they don't care. Maybe they're looking for mass mass markets, which is which is perfectly okay. Um, if if, that, if that's the case, then they. My prediction is they will lose the the essence of what Marks and Spencers is. You know, they might not. Maybe the store brand is strong enough to carry it forward. I I personally think that we'll be closing a lot more. Marks and Spencer's stores, and I think this is a last-ditch effort to try and retain some market share. I mean, they they they, they always seem to be a little bit behind. They was they, they don't they don't seem to embrace things as quick as other stores like um, their food supplies. They should have a lot more food supplies online, and especially with the deal with Arcado, Arcado but they they they're not quite they're not quite with it as much. So if I if I took over Marks and Spencer's. And, you know, I mean, I, as a kid, I used to have clothes and stuff from Marks and Spencers, and my grandfather actually had shares in Marks and Spencers. But, you know, if I took over Marks and Spencers, I would perhaps be looking at not growing so fast that I've got to start over gearing, taking on more loans, because they are quite a solvent firm at the moment. And I'd concentrate on consolidating the business and what it is and concentrate on their core brands. And, um, I think I think you know I think a lot of companies lose track of where they are. I mean, Rolls Royce, one of the the best brands on the planet, you know, and yet they're in trouble again. Is that not bad management? I, I, I don't know. You know, I know they do a lot of aerospace work, but you know, don't don't fall into this trap of growing big by selling lots more but getting less money for it for the t sake of turnover. You know, turnover is uh, is vanity, but profit. Sanity. So it'd be, be interesting to see what happens with Marks and Spencers. But you know, I'm not an expert in the main world. I'm I'm I deal with small businesses.